second and goal at the seven. 43 seconds to go. Ben travels around, throws it back corner of the end zone. Santonio with a touchdown! Searcy. But they are minus Carlton Hasselrig again. He's injured and not playing the guard. Over the middle to Merrill Hodge. And up to the 38-yard line for a first down. Third and four. Pittsburgh out of the gun. That's Green, the tight end in motion. And O'Donnell fires and wide open is Jeff Graham. He takes it to the 38-yard line. Scott Case makes the hit. Graham has been hurt, didn't play last week, and tonight he'll be limited to third down action for the most part and pays off right there. For much of last year, Jeff Graham, number 81, top of your screen, would have been covered by you-know-who, Deion Saunders. Taking the tough man, always over in that left side. He was wide open. His arm is good. He took all the reps during last week, so he is a healthy quarterback. Thanks to Foster. Stone makes the catch. He is tackled at the... 20-yard line by Bruce Pickens at the 30-yard line by Pickens. That's a gain of eight on the opening drive of the game. We're off to a good start here. Here's Foster. He gets the first down and a lot more inside the 20. Barry Foster to the touchdown. 77 yards, seven plays. Anderson for the point after. Barry Foster takes it in. 7-0 Steelers. with the ball from the three. Uh, past the 20. Good run back by Tony Smith. He's in the steal of territory. And Tony Smith is out in front. And he runs it all the way back. 97 yards. Between college and pro football. On first down, this is Eric Pegram. Third down. The four-man rush. Here comes Green. The ball is loose, and the Falcons get very, very lucky because Bob Whitfield just happened to look down at his feet. There he is, bottom of your screen, just moving around Bob Whitfield. I don't think he knew he was out of there. He didn't. He didn't go for the strip. And it's a big sack because it takes Atlanta out of field goal range and makes some punt. And Harold Alexander, the rookie, Sends one inside the five. Can the Falcons down it? They think they have. We're waiting for a signal, and oh, yeah. apparently the official is going to say yes. And at 11, 6.15 to go. Opening quarter, the game tied at 7. There's a fake. O'Donnell runs the boot and throws. Nice catch by Green in traffic. And a first down up at the 25-yard line for the big tight end. And third and six. A high snap, a flip to Thompson. And he seeks that first down, and let's see where they spot it. Going to be very close. They're going to get it done. That's against the grain run we just saw. Foster with 48 yards already. Oh! And a loose ball at the 50-yard line. It's picked up Vinny Clark. He's inside the 30. He's gone. inside the 10. He's gone. Oh, my. This is Atlanta football. Not pretty, but effective. Getting his new contract, and when you make a mistake like that, the people that you alienated during the course of that holdout, they're the first ones to point to something like that and say, see? Goodbye. Johnson, here's Rod Woodson, and Johnson can't make the tackle, and Woodson with a run back to the 50-yard line. Darnell Walker making the tackles. A Rod Woodson, a great cornerback, the highest paid defensive back in the league, and a great kick returner as well. So you need that single setback as a good blocking back. A bear on second and eight. Has it tipped, it's in the air, it's loose, it's picked off at the 11-yard line by Stephen Henry. And the rookie from Mississippi State is the beneficiary of a tip ball by Gerald Williams, and the Steelers take over deep in Falcon territory. This ball because he doesn't get anywhere near the quarterback. Look at that. He's a good three yards away from the quarterback. Those are the only guys that block balls, are guys that are far enough away to see when the quarterback's getting ready to throw. It's a good job of blocking by the Atlanta offensive line. It's just a wonderful piece of hustle by Williams getting up in the air to block the ball. That's Atlanta. Gary Anderson for an easy 21 yard attempt. Royals 
puts it down. And Anderson boots it through. 21-yard field goal coming 50 seconds into the second quarter. Atlanta 14, Pittsburgh 10. <laughs> Atlanta up 17-10. And O'Donnell guns one to the 45 of the Falcons into the arms of Ernie Mills. He takes it to the 41-yard line. But nearest to the play was screened on it. Couldn't see it. Here's Woodson, and he finally gets a chance to play on offense. He's always dreamed about this. And Rod, who does everything, loses the ball out of bounds. Well, pretty good for the highlight reel. It winds up as a net of about a half a yard. Bill does not use it as vocabulary. Got to be careful with those D words. Here's Pegram. Hit at the nine-yard line by, among others, Greg Lloyd. And the Steelers showing the, the blitz, but... Unfortunately, Bobby Hebert's play clock had run down, and he couldn't change the play. This guy's a football player, isn't he? Yes. Greg Lloyd is some kind of player. Been to the last two Pro Bowls. Look at him fight right through the block of Jamie Dukes, the center, drive upfield and drive right through the ball carrier. Player. Third and nine. Third and nine. And over the middle, it's incomplete. In and out of the hands of Drew Hill. Of course, I like Hill Street Blues, so I'm a sucker for him. 33-yard line. O'Donnell, backside screen. Adrian Cooper has room to roll. Inside the 20 and a first down. Run out by Jesse Tuggle. Coveted player. A lot of clubs would like to have it. And they send Pee Wee out into the pattern, and it's underneath to Foster. And Barry Foster takes it down to the 12 for a gain of eight. It, it's time to do it. And they run out of the eye with Hodge leading the way for Foster, and Barry Foster carries a couple of Falcons to the end zone. A moderate display of leg strength. Huh? Another great block by Merrill Hodge out in front of it, too. Hey, Barry Foster gets the kudos. Hodge got a great block. And Cower runs his first play tonight out of that formation, and bingo. I'll tell you, else got a good block at the point of attack. Watch Eric Green, 86. He pins the Falcon defense to the inside. But right here, look at the leg strength and the leverage by Barry Foster. That is sheer strength. Hey there. Uh -oh. Kicks off at the 21. That's the rookie Dion Figures, the number one draft choice from Colorado. Uh -oh. and figures has blocking. Inside the 40. There's the 30. That's coming back. back. They knocked out that. Hey there. Yeah, that's coming back. Yep. He had a flag down as he. I think DUI drive. Second and goal. Right and caught by the wide open Stone for a touchdown. Good grab by Stone. The ball going right at it. Yeah, He's running a pick here. It was a pick, but it was two Steelers that ran into each other. They did. They glided and stuff <laughs> rolled right off. I, I, not two Steelers, two Falcons, rather. Just to not give up anything more. Oh, oh, he's Pressure, dumps it off underneath Pegram, and he can uh, go next to nowhere because Greg Lloyd wraps him up. Team at the 25-yard line. Hey there. Throws against the grain, and that's incomplete, intended for Andre Risen, and he was wrapped up by Dion Figures. 165-pound cornerback stuff. Second and 15. for the moment and now it's loose again. Kevin Green. Well, Kevin but Green Atlanta did not want to happen. Kevin, Kevin Green. Green. ABC stations and a visit. The 25 yard line. And on a delay, Pegram goes nowhere because the play is busted up in the backfield by Gerald Williams. Harold Alexander, rookie from Appalachian State. 40-yard kick, fielded by Woodson. <laughs> and Rod takes off again. Was that pretty? To the 47-yard line, and he's tackled by the punter, Alexander. Here are the Steelers from the 47, and O'Donnell airs it out for Stone, who makes the catch. He got position that time on Jenkins and takes it to the 20-yard line. Yeah, that's a good look at it. Yep. Yeah, thanks, Kenny. That's 
that's a good look indeed. Second and goal, and O'Donnell flings one, and it is caught by Yancey Thigpen. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. That is second on last week. week. They like him a lot. Good delivery by O'Donnell. He concentrates, knows he's at the back of the end zone, gets both down inbounds. Good effort and a good look at it. Sure to the Falcons. That puts together the win. That's been the defense fault. Second down and ten. Bay Bears going to air it out for Haynes, and it's tipped incomplete. Third down tonight. 841 to go, third quarter. Sasky with the well disguised until the very end blitz number 55. Steeler ball. Duke saw the blitz. A bear. I don't know whether he ran out of time. He couldn't change the play. On well, the quarterback's foot, you're not going to go anywhere. Second and 11. O'Donnell rifle one, and that's caught by Ernie Mills. Doesn't work good. Sometimes he'll slow down the pursuit for you. Second and nine, and it's flipped over the middle. The Atlanta 36 yard line. Look alike. All right, we'll get to that in a minute. Pittsburgh, second and eight at the 35 yard line. Play fake, screen, Foster. And a big game for Foster. This is the first down. So they fake the handoff to him and then they make him the receiver. And the Steelers just keep shredding the Atlanta defense. Players, alumni who met with Taggy Boo today. Second and 11 from the 20 yard line as the fourth quarter commences with a catch made by. And he is tackled inside the one yard line. I thought it was a touchdown. It looked like he got the ball across there. That was close. That's not the only pick out there, is it? No. And that led me to, uh, well, we'll get to that in a second. Speaking of the whole 10 yards, there's a half a yard for Foster, and the Pittsburgh Steelers have just gone up by three touchdowns. Court. Up and over. First for that one. Yeah. And nobody's been arguing with it either. First and ten from the 25. And Abair gets hit as he releases. His arm was coming forward. That's Kevin Green. The course of his career. That's a punch. Second and ten. And there's Green again. And the ball is loose. And it is picked up by Kenny Davidson. Touchdown. They're booking their flight to Honolulu. I think they're both agreeing on the fact that they love dancing girls. And <laughs> they're taking it out on Bobby Aver. And any receiver who has the unfortunate yeah. job of catching that ball in the short territory. Kenny Davidson gets the touchdown, but Kevin Green did the work. Again, he victimizes Whitfield, their number one draft choice last year. And well, Dan, one time he goes around him on the outside. What? The 17th. coming into the game tonight. And for the St. Louis Cardinals to become a full-time baseball player, the Falcons were taken totally by surprise and haven't recovered from his loss yet. Here's Thompson. Shoved out of bounds. Still Brian Mobleson with the computer stacks. And as the crew heads south, and this pass is heading south, Woodson, 
equals, he equals his career high with his fifth interception of the season. He wanted to make sure the guy in the Steeler jersey got it. <laughs> yeah. he, he knew he gave it to the Falcon jersey last time. Rod Woodson, in an illustrious career, has never picked off more than five passes in a year, but the, he's just picked off his fifth, and the season is only a quarter over for the Steelers. Well, Frank, uh, I think, really hit on it early. You don't get that many interception attempts when they're always throwing the ball the other side of the field. <laughs> that ball was booted back up into the air by, by Darian Perry. The final here is Pittsburgh 45, Atlanta 17. And a week from tonight, it's the Redskins and the Dolphins. Till then, Al Michaels, Frank Gifford, Dean Deirdre. Good night from Atlanta.